Welcome to Electron Online and now we're showing you the second method of seven ways to do to solve for linear equations. On the previous video I thought there were eight but I miscalculated. There's only seven that I know of so we're only going to do seven ways to solve linear equations. Here's the second one. We're going to do it using the graphing technique. Now the graphing technique doesn't always give you the exact answer but it'll get you close. So this is how we do it. Well first of all we want to write the equation in the format y equals mx plus b where m is the slope of the line and b is the what we call the y-intercept intercept there we go so to do that we have to write the equation in terms of y equals 2x minus 5 like this so here we're going to change the equation around so y is equal to minus x plus 4 now you can see that both equations are in the correct format so we're going to take the two equations, we're going to label them, this is y1, this is y2. It's always good to label it so we can keep them apart. So now we're going to take the first equation and find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at minus 5, so we label that right here. There's the location of the place where the first line crosses the y-axis. Now we realize that the slope is equal to 2, that means it's a rise of 2 and a run of 1. Remember, this is the slope. And the slope by definition is equal to m, which is equal to the rise divided by the run. And in this case, that's equal to 2 divided by 1. 2 is the same as 2 divided by 1, so we have a rise of 2 and a run of 1. So when we go up 2, we go over 1, there's one point. Up 2, over 1, there's another point. Up 2, 1, 2, over 1, another point. You can see that those line up nicely. And when we connect those, like so, we have a straight line representing our first line, so we can call this the line y1 equals 2x minus 5. Now you can see that this is not exact, I didn't use graph paper, so it's not going to be quite perfect, but good enough. All right, the second line has a y-intercept of plus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's this place right there. And now we can see that the slope is a minus 1. So if the slope, which is m, which is equal to the definition of the rise divided by the run. And in this case, that's equal to minus 1, which can be written as minus 1 over 1. So instead of having a rise, we actually have a drop. We go down 1, so we go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And you can see that when you connect these dots right there, you have another straight line going across like this. Now, notice that we didn't get the exact spot where they, where they meet, but it looks close enough to say that the y value looks like it's a positive 1, the x value looks like it's a positive 3, so it's either exactly that or very close to that number. We could say that the answer is probably 3 and 1, and that would be the solution to these two equations. It's the solution to those two linear equations, the place where the two cross. And that's using the graphical method, it's quick, it's easy, it doesn't always give you the exact result, but again, it's just one of the seven methods available, and that's how we do that.